Welcome back. We've got audio. All right, I'm going to re-record this video, which is fine. I, I enjoy, you know, playing this game, and we'll talk about, about this update again. Um, so I made this video yesterday. If you saw it quick enough before I realized it was muted, then uh, this may be a little repetitive in terms of visually. I'm going to probably do a lot of the same things, but you didn't hear me. So, heck, maybe it'll be better. I don't know, maybe it'd be worse. It's arguable both ways, right? We are playtesting Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. This is, I think, the last week of playtesting. Where did I read that? It says we're going close to the end of playtests. But we'd like to extend it for an extra week with additional social online features. So, scratch that. Maybe two more weeks. We'll see. This, there might be one week past this, it sounds like. Uh, so this map came out, I, this map's much better for me than last week's map because you can actually do float fishing, bottom fishing. There's a long way to go on bottom fishing still in terms of making it more functional and fun um, to fish like you would normally fish with a bottom rig. But you can see at least the beginnings of what bottom fishing could look like, which is still fairly fun. What's I think bigger is the last update. So I haven't covered this most recent update before the new map for this week of playtesting. And this is where they turned off unhooking fish in normal mode. So I guess that wasn't working as intended or they felt like it was too harsh or something. And then they adjusted it in realistic mode, which I assume means it still can happen, but maybe not as often. I don't know. The one thing I do know from testing is that that does not impact when you are bottom fishing, having any sort of auto hooking. It's still not auto hooking. It's still treating bottom fishing just like float fishing. In other words, if you don't pick up the rod off the rod stand almost immediately and set the hook, game over. Fish gone, right? So anyway, uh, another good update. Uh, I mean, you can look through all this. They've separated music and sound effect volume. They've changed all of the functioning of the middle mouse function, middle mouse button to let you do more, which is great. So again, everything is just sort of consistently, slowly heading towards what I think are good, good improvements, um, progression of the development of the game right before our very eyes. So let's go ahead and get fishing and we talk more about stuff later as we go. So let's think about what we want to do here. I think we're just going to go fish for tench. Okay. So to me, uh-oh, what's going on? There we go. To me, going to spawn number two and then coming right over here and looking out at that area there where the flowers are, that is the way to go. Uh, that's a good spot for, all right, music is on zero. Okay. So we shouldn't hear music, I guess. Um, that is the way to go. So we're going to use our bottom set. You know what? We're just going to end up holding it. I'm not going to even try to put it on the rod pod because that's still just not functioning properly. Um, all right. So we're going to use corn and notice we are using size eight hooks. So we are ever so slightly getting a little bit bigger in the hooks we're using. And um, again, the last video that I recorded, I had fished in this spot and a couple other spots for quite a while and kind of was showing you a full net. I didn't do that this time, so you just have to kind of uh, take my word for it. This is a good spot to get a bunch of tench and silver carp. I have found, for me at least so far, corn has seemed like the best option bait-wise. Um, this is going to be a silver carp. But um, there may be other ones that are good too. I mean, th on this normal account, I'm like level 10, I think. So I don't have access to all the baits. Basically, you're looking for a bait to give you as high a percentage of tench as possible. All right, we'll mess around here with the underwater cam. Oh, wow. My goodness. That's amazing. I, I mean, I, I'm surprised it, it took it like that. But So it's another silver carp. This kind of the, you know, any bigger than this, it's going to be a little bit annoying. But um, 
We don't really want silver carp. I mean, it's fine. We get a little bit of experience, a little bit of silver, a little bit of money. I mean, um, it's fine. But what we really are wanting is tench, right? Because if you have stronger gear and you want big silver carp, go to six or four out here where it's deeper. And I've hooked in some much bigger silver carp out there than I have uh, in this area. This area seems to be better for tench overall, although we've gotten two silver carp in a row here. In general, what I've seen is farther left is more silver carp and on to the right over here, I've tended to see a better percentage of tench. So hopefully we will indeed get a tench here. So I'm gonna use underwater cam again, just kind of for fun. Uh, do I wish under ca underwater cam wasn't available? Kind of. Maybe the middle ground would be, I wish you had to purchase something to do underwater cam. Um, like it was fairly expensive, you know, or something. I don't know, but it's in the game. So, you know, whatever, just, I just have to deal with it. I can play realistic mode if I want to. And then underwater cam is turned off. Uh, and they continue to change the features of realistic mode versus normal mode. So I noticed on realistic mode, they've taken out skills now, which I also think is a good change. So I like the direction they're going in a lot of ways. All right, we're going to go a little bit further left here. Um, but still in this general area, we're going to hopefully going to get lucky on a tench here eventually. Close the bale and then let's go watch it. Let's see if it's a tench this time. So we're just throwing corn. I was hoping to, you know, once we catch a tench, I was also going to, there we go. I was also going to experiment with, uh, oh, this would be a nice one too. This is great. I was going to experiment with going up like another hook size. See if we still catch tench or if it takes us out of the tench range. I don't know how hook size really works at this point in the game, but uh, anyway, this on this map to me, this is one of the best ways to approach the map. If you're still like I am on my normal account, not super high level. So you don't have ton of like really strong gear. It's just trying to get as many nice tench like this as you can, you know, 20 bucks or more for the bigger ones. This one's 18. Uh, this one's 4.18 kilos. What a pretty fish though. So we're just, we're catching them quickly. We're making a good amount of money and experience. Uh, let's go ahead and look and see where we are. 270 over, so we're level 11 now, working towards 12. So you're getting pretty consistent XP over here. Decent money as well. And then, um, you know, easily doing daily quests and stuff. And so, I think this is a pretty cool thing. You could also go after Prussian Prussian carp. Those are smaller, kind of like, they're, I think they're more akin to like Crucian carp type stuff or gibbles. I don't know. They're bigger than that, but they're not as big as regular carp. Anyway, those are also on this map. You could go for those. You could also go for all the salmon species, um, although you probably need to use spinning for them. And I tend to like fishing with... Um, you know, feeders or float in this game more than spinning at this point, but uh, spinning's okay. Uh, but there's like three different salmon on this map. So you definitely have, to me, this is a nice, well-rounded map. No matter what kind of fishing you enjoy, this map seems to have lots of good options. This is one of their Russian maps. So there's another little silver carp. Okay, so let's go to the store. So we know we have an eight hook right now. Um, we're using carp hooks. So we've got this eight, let's go up to a six. We won't go all the way to one yet. Let's go to a six and try that out. So we skipped right over seven and went to six. Let's see if we can still get tench on a slightly bigger hook. Who wants our corn? The other thing you can do is use dough, but to me, you get a much higher percentage of the silver carp. Although maybe you get, you know, the occasional Prussian or something like that as well. All right, so first hook, first fish on the new hook is a, is a silver. Go ahead and keep that. And yeah, let's look at the baits real quick. Just the natural baits. K 
Caddisfly's okay. I guess we could try Caddisfly here. Um, mainly Roach. Let's let's see what Caddisfly does, if anything, here. And then we'll go look in the store, make sure I'm not forgetting about any baits that we haven't tried here. Fly just doesn't seem to work on this map for me, uh, at least so far. Maybe it'd be better Float. And I'm not high enough level to use Dragonfly on the realistic mode account on my... Sorry, on normal mode account. On my realistic mode, I could test Dragonfly. Just haven't yet. Um, I, I wonder if Dragonfly would catch us some of those salmon. It might. Might not, but it might. Alright, let's see if we can get anything on this... Caddisfly. We also have kind of a big hook, so if it's going to be Roach or something... I don't even remember Roach on this map. Maybe there are. <clears throat> we'll let it sit for a minute. So, my problem with underwater cam, it is fun to use it in the moment, right? But, especially with bottom fishing where the auto hooking's not happening. But, it kind of takes me out of the... Um, it kind of takes me like it it, it 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 just is a reminder it just for me it feels more like an arcade it takes me away from simulation feeling for whatever reason um so unfortunately even though it's kind of fun to use i feel like it leads to me losing interest more quickly uh in the in the actual fishing that's happening so let's get it up over this ridge a little bit we'll try for another minute i, I don't think for whatever reason we're not getting much activity on our caddis fly here all right let's um before we go back to corn <clears throat> let's double check the shop all right so dough could be a thing um, I've tried casters here. I've tried cheese. I tried peas. Um, have I tried cherry? I feel like I did on my realistic account. Again, dragonfly, once we do hit level 12, might, might work on some of the salmon here. I don't know. Okay, so let's just, just see what happens on dough for a second, and then we'll go back to corn, I think. I think dough, unfortunately, is going to catch less tench and more of the silver carp, which, again, unless you're really targeting the big silver carp, is probably just not worth it. Oh, good. It did catch a tench. All right. Good job, dough. Another nice little tinch. We could increase our drag to 80 and still be fine. All right, one second.
All right, sorry about that. You can see we just continue. What I love about this little spot is that we are just catching fish after fish. So we'll, we'll catch one more here and then we'll be able to, um, you know, sell them and, and we can call it. Let's see, where do we at? Our daily quests are kind of kind of tough today in terms of time consuming, but that's fine. Again, I think all of this progress is going to be reset. I mean, I hope it is uh, once it. So that's the other thing I was going to mention is I am really wondering. So once they do this extended week of play testing and we get, um, you know, and they kind of go dark again. I'm really curious, like, how long that'll be for. You know, is there going to be more like a general beta coming up? Is there going to, are they just going to release an early access? For some reason, that's what I feel like is going to happen. I could be wrong on this, but I just have this sense that maybe they'll go dark for a little while, but I think they might release an early access um, or maybe just full release. I, I don't feel like it's ready for full release. So if they're not doing early access, I think maybe there's going to be an extended. We're going dark for a while. Keep working on things. Um, but I just, with so much, you know, promoting the game through this testing phase and, you know, getting at least some people talking about it, right? I think it's probably in their best interest to go ahead and keep try to keep that momentum uh, and not just go dark forever. So I suspect that when we might see either a beta or uh, a release in early access where they start to get a little bit of income from folks who want to buy in at the early access level and continue to do testing through early access. But I could be way off. That's just my opinion on kind of where it seems like the game is, where I could imagine them wanting to go from here. Um, how quickly they are making the you know uh, changes that are that's definitely increasing the fun factor and functionality of many different aspects of the game. Uh, it mentioned next week they're wanting to test you know some online features, social online stuff, and usually when you're doing that, like you're thinking that you're in the latter stages of development, which I'm not sure that that matches up with everything that we're seeing right now but um that's just kind of my best guess i'm expecting maybe a little bit of downtime and then early access we'll see you know they'll announce something once all of the play testing is over i i would imagine there'll be some kind of indication through an announcement on what's next so that'll be interesting uh, and I'll try to do a follow-up video once we do have a little bit more info I'll also try to look at next week's you know, if there are significant updates, um, you know, I'll try to look at that. So, Just another silver carpet in it. For whatever reason, I'm I feel like I'm getting a higher percentage of silvers today than I did yesterday, but you know, I was getting both yesterday, so it might just be a slight variation, you know. It's not like it's a big deal. But when you get those silvers that are at least around ten dollars, those still add up pretty well. Um so if you look at the shop, I mean, what are we paying for this bait? This is natural. I think, I feel like corn was like 35 or something. No, it's only 10. So that one silver carp is basically the cost of, you know, like one corn out of 10 covers, sorry, that one silver carp pretty much covers the cost of 10 corn. So then whatever you catch on the other nine. So even if you only get two or three, maybe four tench out of 10 corn, you're still way in the positive on this, you know, sort of bait 
to fish ratio. And then on top of that, you're finishing dailies. So, pretty cool. Another silver. That's a small one. So this one will probably be more like $6, I think. Something like that. Maybe even four. Probably four to six. Yeah, right at $6. Wow. That was close. All right. Let's see what we're at. Yeah, 93%. I think our next silver carp, we actually finished the daily. So, whatever. That's cool. The first daily, not both of them. There we go. I just love catching the tench. I think they look really cool, first of all, in this game. Thirteen, thirteen and a half dollar tent. All right, that finished one quest. So let's go ahead and see where we are. So we're at $850. Let's just go through and sell all these. Now we're at 972. Plus we've got the daily that'll probably give us 25 or 50 more. So we're right at a thousand. So as you can see, it's a nice little spot. Very consistently making money, consistently making experience. We're not that far off from level 12 now, right? So anyway, neither here nor there, but it's just kind of cool. Uh, to kind of see, I definitely hope that when the game releases, there is an improvement on bottom fishing. I hope that you can use these stands, uh, these rod, rod holders. Um, I hope that when you put the rod holder down, even if you have to put it down with E, I hope that it will let us pick them up with the number that is assigned to the rod. Uh, and because right now, there's two things. I've talked about this before. Sorry if this is repetitive, but there's two things. One, we're not getting auto hooking. So you have to pick up the rod so fast that it almost is impossible to fish with more than one rod, even if it's a bottom, fit, bottom rig. And the second thing is, it's so difficult to get like right on the right spot to use E to pick it up that you're panicking trying to do that really fast and the fish gets away, you know? So even with a feeder rod, that's why you see me fishing for tension stuff, just holding this rod. So anyway, those are the things that I hope does get changed or adjusted and increased in terms of the usability of feeder fishing. Uh, but either way, I think the game has come a long way already. Good grief. Just go back and watch one of those early videos about the demo when it first came out. It was terrible in a lot of ways. They've improved in so many ways since then. And I would argue there's still a ways to go, but it definitely has improved. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Sorry about the muted video from earlier, but this is pretty much covering the exact same stuff that I covered in that one. Um, I will see you next time. Tight lines, everybody.